everyone, welcome to another week in August when we're talking all about creativity. And you'll notice that my background is a little bit different. What does it look like? It's a workshop where lots of things are made with wood. And that's one way that somebody can be creative. So we've been talking about all sorts of ways you can be creative. You can be creative with painting. You can be creative with cooking. You could be creative with sports. There's so many different ways. But this one, and here what I wanna show you is that you can be creative with wood. That's pretty awesome. Let's remind ourselves what creativity is. So creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. So we all have something that we're creative with, whether we know it or not. We all are creative. But sometimes God asks us to work together or to use somebody else's creative skill to do something. And that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about how God created us to work with others to be creative. And there's a lot there. Can you think of someone in your life who's super creative in a way that maybe you're not creative? I have a friend who's really gifted with a guitar. She can play so many cool songs, but I can't do that. But I can use her to use her creative skill with other things. Can you think of somebody? I'm sure we can think of lots of people. All right, before we dive in today, I'm gonna to put the 30 second timer on and I need you to grab your Bibles and then we will get going. So this week, our topic is all about how God created us to work together. And I wanna show you an example of two people working together right now. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Let me show you what's going on in here. This is a very creative workshop where lots of fun things are made. You can see some fun things on the counter there. Lots of tools. But right now, they're working on some chairs. So someone made these chairs and now they're working together to sand it down and get them all ready so that we can sit on them and use them outside and enjoy some fun meals around a table by sitting on the chairs. But nobody could do this by themselves. It takes a team of people. And they are working together to get the job done. And in the process, they're being super creative. Can you think of a time when you got to work with somebody else to be creative? That seems like a really fun project. Anyway, I wanted to show you a sneak peek of two people working together, being really creative, but they have to do it together, which I think is awesome.
So you might hear in the background of some of these videos that there are some cars and trucks going by. And that's because I'm by a busy road, but that's okay. And that made me think that some people have the creative gift of fixing cars. I do not have that gift. I don't know how to fix a car, but I have friends who do, and I'm very thankful for friends who are able to fix cars. It's a way that we can work together with our gifts. Maybe you have that gift too. All right, let's open up our Bible. Make sure that you grab it. I've got mine right here, and we are gonna dive into a certain book. So when Jesus was walking around on earth and he was sharing lots of stories and he was teaching and preaching, uh, there was this guy who, one guy, there were lots of them, but this one in particular we're talking about today, he went around and he recorded a lot of the things that Jesus said. And we get to look at it in the Bible, read it in the Bible now. And this guy's name was Mark. Do you think you have any idea what book of the Bible Mark could have written? He wrote the book of Mark. Fancy that. All right, so it is in the New Testament. There it is, I've already pre-found it in mine. It is, if you find in the New Testament there, you got Matthew, Mark. Second book in the New Testament. It's pretty easy to find, but you have to skip all of the Old Testament first. So find the book of Mark, open it in your lap, and now let's go check out the so-and-so show to see what is going on. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know, the Taj Mahal. Basketball. No? Okay. Corn cake. Mad cow disease. Is it a, a rubber band? And I don't know. Pablo Picasso. Is that? I'm trying. An old Irish cottage. A haunted house. Uh, 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 baby fish mouth. Baby. A hissy fit. Fine. I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're out of time. <sighs> you were so close. Really? Yes. What was the word? Indescribable. Who oh, no, knows? Waffle iron. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> oh, but good guesses. Uh, all right. Next word. because that's just not the way we do things around here. But it would be so fun. Why yeah, not? We can't bring 20 baby goats they into your basement. They would be so cute. That's not a reason to bring baby goats in your basement. Why can't you be more fun? Why can't you be more serious? Fun. Serious. Fun. Serious. Oh, hey. Hey, my name is Brandon. And I'm John. This is the so-and-so show where we like to have fun yeah. while talking about things that are often quite serious. Yeah. I'm sorry, John. I really, I really shouldn't ask you to change. You are you. I am me. I know you're this right, Brandon. It's it, it's our differences that have made this friendship work as long as it has. Yeah, yeah. Hey, do you remember when we first met? Are you kidding me? Of course I do. It was like it's almost like it was yesterday. Hey. Hey. I like that shirt. Thanks. John, that was yesterday. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. When we first met. Right, yeah. Right, right. I remember it like it was 25 years ago. <laughs> Sup? What's up? Hey, that outfit's all that in a bag of chips. Thanks, home skillet. Your memory is very bad. That's, that's not how we met at all. Plus, we were way younger 25 years ago. Ah, oh, right! Yeah. I remember it like it was... No! Uh, what? Stop. Let me, let me do it. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah, it's all 
all coming back to yeah, me. Yeah, just yeah. a couple of creative kids, our whole future ahead of us. Uh -huh. hey, what would you want your younger self to know if you could talk to him today? Don't be afraid of mayonnaise. It's delicious. That's not true, first of all. Mayonnaise is gross. It is. It's and second, wouldn't it be neat if we could go back in time and talk to our younger selves? I've got a better idea. This always goes well. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Whoa, what's going on? I don't know. Clearly, we've traveled 25 years into the future from the moment we met until now. These old people, they're future versions of ourselves. It's really obvious. Come have a seat, young yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, here you go. <laughs> All right. You're taking this well. Just your standard time travel episode. Uh -huh. Didn't you ever watch Quantum Leap? Yeah. Oh, of course you have. You're me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, we obviously know who you are, uh, but what do you know? Oh, I'm really good at math and writing. Uh, oh, and I'm also really good at making sounds with my mouth. Oh. I totally forgot we could do that! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about you, me? What, what do you know? I know that I can't stay here very long. My father wants me home before lunchtime. Oh. Are you serious? You just traveled through time. Take a minute, man. Make some mouth noises. <laughs> Is this really who I'm going to be spending all my time with in the future? It's not that bad. Whatever, dude. You're way too dull for me. There's no way we're going to be friends. Oh. This is our future. Do you still not get it, genius? Oh, see? He called you a genius. I was being sarcastic. Simpleton. Okay. Now, wait a minute. I think that sounded like an insult, Mr. Boring McBoring Pants. Don't attack him. That's me. What are you, his dad? Yeah, what are you, my dad? You guys are so mature. Can I go home now? Yeah, go, and I hope I never see you again. Yeah. You will see me again. This is our future. What are you talking about? Can we please just stop? None of this is actually possible. Oh, there he goes again, taking away all our fun. This is serious. Fun. fun. Serious. Fun. 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 Serious. Fun. Serious. It's, it's Bible, Bible story, story time with, with Kellen. Kellen. What is up, guys? Whoa. Am I seeing double? Hey, Kellen. Hey, Kellen. What's up, Kellen? Sir. What exactly is going on here? A time travel episode. Ah, gotcha. What story are we doing today? It's a story about some friends who had to get creative to help another friend. Want to help me out? Sure. Sure. Awesome. Our story today begins with a group of friends. We don't know their names, so let's just call them Egon, Winston, Peter, and Ray. The friends wanted to help Ray because he couldn't walk. They had heard stories of how Jesus had miraculously healed a lot of people. So when they heard Jesus was in town, they decided to carry Ray to the house where Jesus was staying. I don't know. It doesn't look good. The line to see Jesus is all the way around the block. We won't get to see him until next Tuesday. We've got to come up with a way to get Ray in to see Jesus. Think. So they thought. Hmm. 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 <gasps> I've got it. We'll throw him. What? No. Uh, all right. All right, I'll supervise. All right. Okay. On three. One. One two. two. Three! There he oh, goes! Oh, go! Oh, go. Oh, there you go! You got this! Yep, 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 right in my ear. Yep, yep, you, you got this. I, I'll, I got your blanket. Bring it over. Oh, that's not good. Here he comes, he's coming back! Ah. Careful there! Don't make it! You got this! Keep on going! Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. oh, here you go. Get that over you. Whew! Huh, that didn't work. 
Of course it didn't work. Okay, that looked really fun. But they didn't really throw their friend against the wall. What they did do was very creative. They made a hole in the roof of the house where Jesus was. And they lowered Ray's mat down to see Jesus. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! 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 Hi, Jesus. Hi, Hi Jesus. Jesus! Son, your sins are forgiven. What? He can't say that. We, only God can forgive sins. You with me, guys? Guys, Ugh. you with me? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you thinking these things? Is it easier to say, your sins are forgiven? Or to say, get up, take up your mat, and walk? But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. I tell you, get up, take up your mat, and go home. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. Jesus did a miracle in front of all those people. Probably didn't give the guy the ability to fly like that, but it was still miraculous. And it all began because a group of friends came up with a creative way to help their friends see Jesus. The end. That was great, Kellen. It's great to see friends working together to help each other out. Mm -hmm. Totally. We all need people in our lives who can be there when we need them. Plus, we need to be people who are there when others need us. Just like Brandon is there for me. And John is there for me. But we're so different. Yeah, but that's what makes the relationship work, right? You're like the serious one, so it helps keep this show from going off the rails. Oh, and you probably help us loosen up and have fun in a way that makes us more creative and makes the show more interesting. And, uh, and Kellen's the glue that holds it all together. Did you hear that, Kellen? You're the glue. Oh, thanks, guys. And it's an honor working together with you to help others see Jesus. Thanks for the story, Kellen. See you next time. Bye. That was fun. Seriously. Hey, you want to go do a, a show together? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. We'll work on that. Good yeah. luck. Reveal the question. <laughs> oh, yeah. How can working with others make you more creative? Maybe different people have ideas that would never occur to you. Or they know some games that you've never played. Or experiments you've never considered. Or mouth noises you've never tried. <laughs> and so it begins. We'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Uh, triangle. House. Uh, uh, up, up, up. up. Pointing uh, north. So-and-So so Show. Arrow. Uh, arrow. North. Apple um, pie. Sun. Cherry pie. Peach uh, pie. Peach pie. pie. Cherry uh, pie. Strawberry pie. Uh, Tomato pie. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Brandon. Uh, Brandon. Uh, uh, foot. foot. All right. That's foot. Uh... I give up. Uh, toothless. Snaggle tooth. Toothless. Uh, toothless. One tooth. Toothless alligator. Yes! Oh! oh! <sighs> toothless alligator. What? Yes! All right, who gets to draw next? All right, I get My to turn. draw next. No. Because I'm so oh. good. <laughs> <laughs>
hmm, how can I be creative in helping? What can I do to help? Maybe it's taking care of a neighbor's kids while they have to go do an errand. You can invite that kid over and they can come play with you for a little bit while the parent has to go out. Or maybe it's writing really encouraging notes with sidewalk chalk on their front driveway and using your gift of art and using really great words and kind words to encourage them. So many great ways. Or maybe it's with mom and dad at the grocery store and realizing that you have some friends down the road who need a few extra groceries and you can say, mom and dad, can we pitch in and get some, some groceries? So there's lots of ways that we can be creative in working together and in helping others. But let's finish off our time together like we normally do, which is simply just praying to God. So sometimes we like to close our eyes and bow our head and fold our hands just to maintain uh, focus and to not get distracted. So feel free to do that if you'd like. But let's pray. Dear God, you've given us creativity and imaginations and talents and skills, and we know you made us to use those things together. It's much more fun to work with others, and we can create so much more. We can create so great, so five way has to go out or the Bible, because we want to share your love as we find ways to help other people together. We love you and ask these things in your name. Amen.